Hey, here we are again, week number three of Does It Juggle? I'm up two to O. Oh. I hate saying that, two to zero. Just say zero. O is a letter, zero is a number. You have made two challenges of me, and I have mastered them both. Well, I gotta be honest with you, this week's challenge is pretty tough. It's your first time watching, you guys had a chance to vote. And when you voted, I put up six objects. You guys voted. The top three made it to this, the attempt, which we moved to Friday because I thought it would be better for my various streams and feeds and content things. This may change my luck. Am I a better luck person on Thursday or Friday? I don't know. You don't know. No one knows. Are the objects you chose more difficult than last week? I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. I have them here with me. I have not attempted to juggle any of them. I am honest with you people. This is the first attempt, and I decided to change the rules a little bit, to put a little more pressure on me. That's right. Last week, week before, I said I want to get 10 throws, and I get three tries. I'm going to change that to 12 throws and two tries. Why? I don't know. I'm feeling magnanimous. I'm feeling powerful. I'm feeling like some sort of weird French artist in my stripedy shirt, which I realize doesn't really read on screen, but that's okay. The moon is here, the weird little light, the umbrella cocked curiously open to block that window so the person inside can have privacy, and me rambling as I always do. Let's get right to it. The objects from last week's votes uh, were... Oop, where are they? Here they are. First object I want to present, just because it was the first object I grabbed, the little banjo. Be more observant among you. The people that know instruments know this is a banjo lele. It is strung like a banjo lele. And I just now discovered it is nowhere near in tune. It is a banjo lele. All right. I do get to get used to each object. I assume because this is a flippy object that we're going to... Kind of do it like that, I guess. Okay, the banjo lele. I'm good with it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. The second object, I believe the one that got the most votes, water balloon. Water balloon. Water balloon. They're mesmerizing, aren't they? You can't look away from the water balloon. Children, this is making you think of your mother. Dads, this is making you think of your children's mother. Weird single people. This is making you think of your girlfriend's mother. Water balloon. All right. It's wet for some reason. I've got four down here in case I break them. I think one of them's leaking. They're all kind of different sizes too. When I was making it, I wasn't sure if I should make it big like a softball, small like a baseball. What's going to slap in my hand better? Hands are already getting wet. Let me get a little used to it. Okay. Now, you voted for this, even though I used to do a routine in my show where I juggled one of these. But it's coming back to me now, as I recall back then. A little tricky. Because if it hits your hand a little bit off, it bulges out. And all the weight comes out. Then you're throwing it crooked. And then now it's all elongated in the air. You've seen water, belt, water balloons in slow motion. Who the hell hasn't? The third object. The third object, and quite possibly the one that terrifies me the most. The simplest object on the list. Uno Bricko course is Irish for get ye to a nunnery. It is a brick. It is a standard brick. Nothing special about it. It is a real brick. I brought another piece of one over to make sure you guys don't think I'm using one of those goofy foam rubber bricks that your uncle bought at the magic shop and thinks it's still funny to throw at you to this day. You know that uncle, the one that still says that's what she says and has one of those weird fish on the wall that sings at you when you walk by. I'm a little nervous about just getting used to the brick. We're going to do it anyway. It weighs about, I don't know, standard brick weight. What is that? Say five pounds. I don't know. It feels like five pounds. Maybe, maybe seven. Maybe seven. Okay. This is going to be, i tell you right now, this is going to be the problem object. This is going to be the object that I'm going to be looking at the entire routine. I think the water balloon is going to be the easiest. And the, the banjo somewhere in the middle. All right. Two attempts at 12 throws. I regret that immensely right now. I think this is the most difficult challenge you've given me. 
you know what? I don't want to build the drama anymore. I don't want to give it away what I think is going to happen. I don't like that one. I like the one I had in my hand. So we're going to do the best. I'm not sure if I can even start this without breaking the damn water balloon. All right. Brick, tiny little banjo, water balloon juggle, attempt number one. <sighs> Starting in this order. Balloon, brick, banjo. You asked for it. I stopped. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Attempt number one. I started by saying that I forgot to start counting, but as you can see, it did not matter. I only got two or three throws in. The balloon burst at my feet. The banjo soaking wet. The brick's got a little slickness to it. That's attempt number one. You know what? I think I could even say 10 throws, and I don't think I'm going to get to it. Let me try this again. Before we do attempt number two, because this is clearly turning out to be a bust for me, I'm going to get a little more used to how the objects move. Hope this isn't cheating. I don't think it is. All right. Attempt number two. This is obviously going to be a fast video, everybody. We're going to go in the same order, I think. I don't know if the, well, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe, I don't know how to throw anything first and have it not be a problem. The only object that can leave my hand relatively simply is the water balloon. Obviously the banjo flips in the air, but there's no way I can throw it first because I'd have to put something else in the hand with the banjo. And of course can't hold the brick in the hand with anything else. It's too big, it's too heavy. I am stuck with this order of starting, I believe. It has to be water balloon, brick banjo. The damn water balloons are soaking wet. Here we go. Attempt number two. I think my failure and your success is at hand, ladies and gentlemen. I love you all. But right now, to be honest with you, I hate you a little bit. Here we go. Final attempt, number two. Water balloon brick banjo. 12 throws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Are you kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a joke. This is not theater. I am not lying to you. I assumed I was going to fail at this. All that drama of trying to set it up to make it more fun for you guys. I figured there's no way. I cannot believe I just did that. I am so happy right now. I hate to say it, but I think you all know what this means. There is a master among us. And there are minions. The master is here. With the red orb of delight. The minions are there, sitting at your laptops or on your smart device. Thank you all so much for the attempt at the challenge, but... <laughs> it turns out a water balloon does not just break when it hits you in the face. It bounces off your eyeball and falls on the ground. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for sticking with me. I cannot believe I actually got that. Uh... I don't know what to say, man. I thought it was a failure for sure. That's why I was setting it up, building it up, a big-ass failure. Did 13 throws of a brick, a little tiny banjo, a water balloon, and I succeeded. And thus ends this, the third, and not final, does it juggle. Look for the poll for next week. I'm going to do it always every Friday. You guys are great. Enjoy another week of smelling my uh, success. Really wish I'd end this video with a better quote. Take care, guys.